Please fasten passenger seat belt. Please fasten driver seat belt. All right, babe. Let's get into it. You want to talk now? Yeah. We in a car. We taking a ride. We got a long way to go. Why not? All right. Come on. Let's do it. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? This the You Want to Talk Now podcast featuring the boy Gene. Gene, no. I got my girl with me. What's up, babe? Say hi to the people. Hey, it's Key. Yo, <laughs> you remember this song? A little. I think I do. I think so. Mm, you know what this is. I think so. Everybody know this song. Everybody know when that beat dropped. You notice that Drew Hill. Okay, Drew. Okay. All right. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Uh, incomplete. Okay, but I yeah, like not one of my faves, but... Not one of my favorites, but I, I know what it is. It's one of my favorite, definitely one of my favorite drums, especially from back in the day. But I mean, what did, what you like? What, what was your favorite drums back in the day? Um, I like a lot of songs. I mean, R and B, like it, I, I listen. <laughs> you call me off guard. Like I gotta think about that. You, how about what's your top five? What's your top five R and B songs? Top how about five. <laughs> top five R and B songs. I know I used to uh, sing this drone all the time. Was, uh, Let me love you, Mario. That would have to be in my top five. Let me love you. Um, that was my song. Yeah, Mario was killing that drone. Uh, Happily Ever After, I would say, by Case. Okay. Yeah, that's my song. That was just it right there. And I'm, I'm going to take you old. I'm going to take you a little farther back with <laughs> With this one right here. What? Gerald LeBert, Made to Love You. What? Oh, gosh. What you know about it? What you know what about you, that? What do you know about I know, Gerald? I know everything about Made to Love You. <laughs> that was my drum. One of my favorite artists, though, back in uh, that time was, uh, like, one of my first favorite artists, um, I think, I think like, when I was 14, uh, <clears throat> Genuine. He was, like, one of my favorite artists. And the song I used to listen to back in the day was differences like that used to be my shit but i won't like i don't know i listen to it now it ain't one of my top jones but my top genuine song and that's i would say one of my top r&b songs from genuine would be uh love you more you know love you more that's the shit we got on our keychains yes. i love you more what we got what you got well i have i um i bought you a keychain that says i love you more and your keychain to me says, I love you most. Cause that's, yeah, we used to say that to each other. Like We always try to one-up each other on the shit. I love you more, I love you more. <laughs> uh, so what did I say so far? I said, let me love you. I mean, you said four. You have one more. Uh, I think. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, back, uh, let me think, back in high school, when uh, MP3s had just came out, like they had first came out, and I was working at Rite Aid. And uh, they had these little cheap ass little joints in there. You probably can get like five or six songs on there. And uh, <laughs> uh, I had, dang, what I had on that joint? I can't remember what I had on there, but I know I had Ray J. Uh, one Wish on that joint. Yo, One Wish was my joint, dog. Like for real. Like I used to play that joint every day on my way to school. <laughs> and I, I think I was singing that shit in the hallways. The motherfuckers used to be asking me, can they hold the, uh, her, my MP3 player? You made that song. You made that song sound good, huh? I guess I don't that know. That song was like the "Let Me Get Out the Friend Zone" song. Like that was the friend zone song. I'm trying to tell you. Wait, that was the friend zone. That was song? the yes. What you mean? That was the that friend was the friend zone, zone song. Wow. Like you know, like when like in elementary or junior high, when like the girls be cool with certain guys that's like you know they friends with, and then the guys start liking her, and it's like. That's that type of song, and it's like we're just friends. And then the guy like, but I'm in love with you. Like that song is like a friend zone song. Yeah, well, I, ain't never been, I ain't never been through none of that, so I wouldn't know nothing about Excuse that. Excuse me, player, player. No, no, not not saying like I was playing. I just I, I don't know. It wasn't those zones. It back just kind of remind me of that. That's all. It just kind of remind me of that. But oh. it is. It is. It's, it's still a nice song. So what's your so what's your top five? Uh, like, well, I don't really have like a top five. R&B songs like I had I songs like, out there right yeah like our growing up R&B was like our medicine like you know we go through stuff like we go straight to R&B so it's so it's so many songs but like uh, it's hard to break it down it's hard to break it down 
Um, but I know you got some. I mean, I know I, you well, some you like, can I'm just gonna, jump I'm, on. I'm, since we're on a topic, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you five. That's like right, on the top right, of my. Give me your top like, five. Unless you it's got not a... top five. This is like this is not an order of the best or anything like that. This is just top five that I could think about right now. All right, let's get into um, it. Tell them top people. Uh, part of the list by Neo. Listen, mm. listen. This is my song, guys. You put me on re- that listen, You put me on that one. Any guys in relationships <laughs> who or who, you know, if you were in relationships after matter of, after this song, you'll find a new appreciation for your lady. I'm trying to tell you. Matter of fact, watch the video. Watch the video. Oh, that song dope. Like you watch really put me video. on that, John. I was, I ain't listen. I got a lot of. First of all, Neo is in my. I didn't put Neo in my top five, but Neo, like his his catalog is crazy, and I I, I don't know. Yeah. I just got other. You know when you uh when you listen to music or whatever like that, like you got certain memories or certain music. So it was like, mm-hmm. I, if we was doing top ten, top fifteen. <laughs> Neo would definitely make it. Huh? Neo would definitely make it, and no, Neo gotta be top five though. It's just, but just, we're not talking about artists. We're talking about songs. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well, listen, but Neo music, like, come course, on. Of course, of course, I I love Neo. Um, uh, let me go next. But you, you uh, said part of the list was from Neo, though, right? Yes, like please watch the video, listen to the song. That's a good song. Part of the list by Neo. Right. Um, next is Beyonce One Plus One. Yep. Oh, you used to play a lot in the, begin, in the beginning of our relationship. <laughs> Yes, to this day, this song has one of the most like one of my favorite lines in any song, like literally. And what, what was it's, that? It's so simple, but I love it. When she be like, "Just when I fall on my fist, I realize <laughs> I'm laying right next to you." That's my yo. Uh, that's what, my favorite line. I mean, what, what, why why that line because sticks out to you so much? It sticks out to me because it's like you know. We go through so much in this world, you know, chaos, drama, negative energy, and it's like when I turn around, you right there, it just reminds me of like peace and like, yo, like I'm not battling this world alone, you know? Yeah, it's just, I feel you, I feel you. That's, yeah, that just sticks with me. But uh, <laughs> uh, next is Understanding by Escape. I don't even know that song. Like, what I need. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even say, I don't know about it. See, all that the stuff that the girls used oh, to put out, I didn't really gosh. know the names, but I did know when they uh, used to come on. So, what you. What oh. else you. I mean, oh, all right. Don't judge me with this one. This. <laughs> do not judge me. But Poison. <laughs> Come on, Listen, man. that's the R&B that's song. R&B, Listen, that's dog. R&B. That's like pop, it's dog. classic R&B. No, that is pop. That's this an is, R&B group, but that's like a pop song. This is classic so I know, R&B. I see how you can get it confused. That's not R&B. Poison. That's, that's a pop my song. song. Poison. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a my pop song. song that's done that's by in, a traditionally R&B in, group. On my list, Poison. Right, yeah, and there. last but not least, I got to tell you, it's like uh, there's so many R&B songs that I love. But next Last but not least is Lauren Hill X Factor. I'm telling you, I used to play this all the time. I used to play this song all one? the time how when he could be on his stuff. <laughs> well, how so. that go? How that song go? X Factor, Joe. I can't remember. Really? Well, I start. I can't. You can't even remember. It could all be it's so simple. simple. But you rather? Go. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That is a shit, yo. That John. I like how that John come on, like. I don't know, Lauren Hill had them Sonics, so like she whoever was putting that music together, man, they had that shit sounding right. <laughs> but um you know, I really uh R and B, like I think R and B is like my favorite genre of music over everything else over rap, over I listen to gospel every once in a while, whatever like that, but like R and B gotta be my top. But I feel like and I don't, I don't know. As I got older I just you know, I started think you know, everybody started thinking when they get older, start, you know, going through your um, past and uh, trying to figure out why you are the way you are, and I kind of feel like sometimes R and B might have messed us up when it comes <laughs> to relationships. You don't think so? Messed us up. I think. Well, yeah, messed us up. Yeah, no. Like. Well, listen. You know, like we from the hood, we from the yeah. bottom, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like music is like our outlet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, music was like our, our expression. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's like when we was going through something. That's music is like the first thing we turn to, and like kind of music artists like is like people who we looked up to too, in a way, right? Yep, yeah, like I said, it's our medicine. Like definitely. So it's like when we listening to all that heartbreak and heartache, and you cheated and he yeah, cheated. It's like it's negative. 
Yeah, definitely. And it's like, I think it just played a part. I know it had, like, it, it gotta had to have some kind of, like, it kind of set, it had to sit with us somewhere. Even though we was kids mm-hmm. and we probably didn't really understand it, we were too young, it really had to sit on us in some kind of form or fashion. Like, and uh, listen, I remember when I was, uh, what, third grade? Third grade, the first, like, um, the first R&B song that kind of, like, like I, I guess I felt emotion or it stuck with me. And I knew the words. It was uh, Drew Hill sleeping in my bed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bear with me. My voice is a little deep today because I'm a little sick, but just bear with me. But, um, yeah, so sleeping in my bed, that drum was like, it was about, from what I uh, thought at the time, it was like somebody doing, uh, doing Cisco dirty. And I, how old it had to be in the third grade? Like 11 or something? know how old you are in the third grade but anyway yeah that. but it's like i used to be in it i used to be singing a song feeling sleeping in my bed like you really going to like, like somebody like, really? I, I ain't got no girlfriend or nothing i'm all young like i ain't got like <laughs> what i know about that <laughs> what i know music, about that music get that get to you make you feel something yeah it definitely do make you feel something like i said like i feel like it just it it kind of may it might have planted seeds and it's like and i'm yeah. definitely with like all like the women Y'all yeah, had like, like a lot of exactly, songs. Exactly, especially we had we had a lot of songs growing up like Men Are Dogs and like mm-hmm. um, like remember Blue Control? What's that song? Um Oops, they got a dream. Something yeah, was that song. I remember that. And, I remember, uh, that. remember Sunshine? Um Oh, uh, what's that what was it called? What was it called? I know what you're talking about. I can't even think about it right now. I can't even think about it now. Oh, but we but Many, we get it. We get it though. Like yeah. It's it, like we it had just, a lot of songs like Men, you know, ain't Men is nothing they're cheaters liars right, right, right. And, and, it, and i know it had to stick on us and i know like even like some of the women's songs they used to come out it's to like mess like fuck with my insecurities and shit like that remember uh, what's that one john the destiny child john um soldier i need a so like dog when that came out that fucked my whole shit up like what was the uh, lyrics right i think wayne and ti was in the video and it was like what's uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, here we go. If your status saying hood, I ain't checking for him. Better be street if he looking at me. It's like, yo, when I heard them fucking lyrics, I'm like, damn, I am, <laughs> I am not a fucking soldier, and I, I never was like a tough boy. Or ever tried to be tough. I mean, it was some dudes that was like into that and whatever. But when Destiny Child said that, they was they made me feel like I ain't even had a shot. Like, so I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't. I think I thought I wasn't popping to none of the chicks back in high school when that joint came out. That joint had me sitting in the corner on some salty shit. <laughs> but guess what came right after that? Guess what came right after that? That that, that pulled me out of that slump though. Sierra, Sierra came through with the end eye. And you remember them legs? I never forget oh, them legs. <laughs> she said. <laughs> Sierra said. Oh, damn, this shit will be back, but. She said, I don't need me a basketball player. All I need is somebody that's down for me. And he don't have to have money. Because I was, listen, cause we were young. We had no real money. I mean, some, some dudes had money, the, the drug dealer boys and all that. But I was broke. But she said, he, he, don't need to have to, he don't have to have money. His love was just like, honey, it's so sweet to me. So when she said that, I'm like, oh, all right, all I gotta back do is back in the game, <laughs> right? Back in the game, all I gotta do is get on some love type shit, you know what I mean? And I'm good. So <laughs> Sierra opened the door back. Uh, she opened that door open for uh, like dudes that wasn't like on those soldier type selling drugs. I'm that boy, you know what I mean? Type shit like, but <laughs> that shit, that shit took me back for a second. No, babe, remember, remember when you made me that R&B CD when we first met? R&B CD. Listen. It? Wait, wait. What? Or was it? It wasn't for Valentine's Day. Song. Was no, it? no, no, no. This was like we used to go back and forth about who knew the most R&B songs. Oh like, yeah. I used to be like, no, I'm like the R&B queen. He's like, no, like I'm, I know all the R&B songs. So we, yeah, we used to always go back and forth. Like we used to play that shit on YouTube. Remember yep. we used to jump on YouTube and I would play a song. And then I play a song like I bet you don't know this. I bet you don't right. know this. Right. We'd go back and forth for hours, yo. And then eventually he made me an R&B mix CD. Oh my god, you taking me I'm... back to see mixing making CDs and downloading mm-hmm. shit. Oh my god, I remember we was on uh that's when like LimeWire is out. LimeWire when we used to like go online Napster. and like Napster. No, Napster, Napster. came out. Napster. Napster. What was Napster? Napster? I said Napster. <laughs> Napster. <laughs> that all up. No, Napster was way before LimeWire. That's like way back, but I know, I know, I know. 
But we used to go in there and we used to be uh like downloading all the music and shit. That's where we uh that's where wait, what was the other one? I, I know it was another one too. I don't remember. I feel like it was another one, but they was they was the more popular ones, line wire and shit, but they used to make plenty of CDs out of that shit. Like fucking uh all rap mixtapes and all that kind of shit, Meek Mill shit back in the day. <laughs> that was a little late on, but that was a, like yeah, that was a big way, thing back in the day. Way before streaming. Yeah, yeah, title and all that shit. It was like you had to go online. Yeah, like manually. Like. Man, find your music, <laughs> download that shit to your computer, make a list of all the shit you like, and yeah, then, owe, then try owe. to burn into a CD and shit. <laughs> that shit was funny. That was like... No, man, but, listen. I used to print out lyrics. Like, listen, it was this girl, like, what was in junior high? And she knew all, like... The lyrics to the song She used to come home, come to school Singing all this I'm like How do you know this song by heart Like this song just came out And like we found out She used to print out lyrics I'm like Well I'm gonna start Printing out oh, lyrics shit, Like, <laughs> Yo, that's funny, I'm like I wanna know songs too Like yeah. Shoot but nowadays You can just pull it up On your phone or pull, yeah, You like, can do everything On your phone nowadays You can pull up lyrics Your GPS zone On your phone I remember back in the day We used to uh We used to have to like I remember when, when we uh, First went to college We had to uh, print out The directions like we had to print out the directions in advance to like uh, get to school, and that shit was like six, seven hours away. We had to really follow the directions on the paper. No, sure, and it wasn't, you it, even yeah. Know and if you mess up, and if you mess up, it, is what it, it is. ain't no, it ain't no GPS like reverting you and rerouting mm-hmm. you and telling you which way to go. So you had to follow these motherfucking directions. Like that's that back in the day shit. That's that shit crazy. Like like shit was like way harder back then. You had to be more like focused and shit like that. <laughs> Yo, but uh, remember, uh, damn, you got me thinking about back in the day shit. Remember the old cell phones and shit? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we talking about cell phones and shit. Remember the old Johns? Yeah. Like, what was the first phone you had? I had like a, a black Nokia. <laughs> the black, what, the little small, little, little, the little short John? Yeah, the little black. With the little regular, <laughs> yeah. the screen? Yes. I had the uh, blue John. I, I don't know. The, I don't no, I I know they had different. Cause you said you had a black yeah, one. Yeah, had a black one. I had a blue one. I feel like everybody had a blue Nokia John. I had a black one, and I I had a black one. Yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, exclusive. Then. What was the game exclusive. that was on there that everybody used to play? Snake, snake. Everybody know that fucking snake game. Listen, bro. I used to, have to buy prepaid cards like every week. Everybody, everybody. Like, did. I mean, unless you unless you was popping. I mean, yeah, I like, eventually I eventually got a monthly. That but, that was the next cell phone. That was the, but but the I first, had, yeah, yes. that ten dollar joint. I had the yeah, ten dollar. Ten dollar, yeah. yes, three nights a weekend. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like one or two times I might have got the twenty joint. Like I don't know how yeah, I got somebody it. Somebody call you like, I'm gonna call you bigger at nine o'clock. I'm right. gonna call you bigger. <laughs> but your prepaid had three nights a weekend. Like, yeah, my prepaid, yes, my prepaid had three nights a weekend. I don't remember that. But the thing is, is like I was in school, so I couldn't talk late. Mm-hmm. So like I used to run out my minutes all the time. So it was yeah, like I didn't yeah. even take advantage of that really. <laughs> but. Yeah, I had. Uh, I eventually got a monthly. I, I started working at. Uh, I got a job at a barber shop, <clears throat> and I still. Um, and I eventually got a monthly. So uh, I think I used to have like six hundred minutes a month, and then free nights and weekends. So I was cool when I got that. Mm-hmm. But um. Yep, those were the good old days. Yeah, not like back in the day. Not when, like when we first got together. It, them days wasn't so good. Oh really? Yeah, you know that's. Basically, when we uh, was like super insecure, like we were so young and like I don't know, we just had a lot of fucking bad fucking energy and shit on us from a whole bunch of insecurities. Yeah, well, let's get into that. Let's get into insecurities. Uh, let's go. We can. I, I can do it. <laughs> so. Um. I'll go first. Um. I think this is normal. I think insecurities in relationships are normal, especially, especially when feelings get deep. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, I know what you mean. Like once you are deep into your feelings, no. like yeah, not knowing if the person gonna hurt you or not, like that can drive you crazy. Like definitely, <laughs> especially like when you put all your trust and you know you've been loyal to this person. It's like mm-hmm. hold up, like make sure. Let me make sure I'm getting the same, you know, energy or whatever it is. You put, same energy that you putting out, you wanted to be receiving that same kind of energy. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, like for me, I like to be in control. So it was like, look, are we together for the moment, or is right. this long term? Like, right. But I was <laughs> me personally. I was, I was definitely like way more insecure in the beginning of a relationship. And it, <laughs> ain't no shame in my game. Like I used to be checking your phone, 
text messages, DMs, all that shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I think at like I remember at some point I started like asking myself. I like really had to look at look at myself and say, like, yo, why the why the fuck am I doing this? Like it's like I'm hurting myself. It's like it's like I'm looking to find some shit or to find some kind of pain because I couldn't believe like that you was like all the way loyal. I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but I, I think I came to realize that I was really like projecting my own insecurities onto you because I had like my own inner issues and battles that I was dealing with. And I was looking, I think I was like looking to find a, like a stain on you to make my shit, make myself feel better, you know, about my own shit. And like, you know, I had to really like figure that shit out. And at that time, I like, I lacked a lot of self confidence, and I don't. I, I really didn't think I was worth much, and I don't know. That got. I mean, that come from a lot of different shit. That's like in my past that I never really unpacked or uncovered. So that's another topic for another. Day. There's definitely we'll another topic it, for another that's day really that we need to like to get, into. get into and shit. Yeah. But I was like I said on last podcast, I was in a deep and dark place early on. And I had to, I had to do a lot of work to pull myself up, up, up out of that, cause it was crazy. You want to talk about that, uh, that that one thing I did, or you want? One, one thing you did. I mean, out of insecurity. Know. One thing you did out of insecurity. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of shit. I think I definitely did a lot of shit out of Listen, insecurity. Listen, just to give you a gist of his insecurity. Oh my um, God. at my old job, my old job used to work at the airport. Um. So he used to pick me up at night. He used to work night shift, and he used to pick me up every night. Mm-hmm. You know, one night I was trying to give him a break. I'm like, okay, you know, I, my friend, um, so and so, I don't say her name. Yeah, I'm not saying her name. You um, can get the names out. You can get the names out. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, so and so, she's gonna bring me home. You know, she's gonna ride. She's riding that way anyway. So you know, I'm gonna just take a ride with her. And it's crazy. It's crazy that like, like you said, you wanted to give me a break. I used to always complain about wanting a break and shit like that. But exactly. Like, but then it was like when I gave it to him, you it was gave like, it to hmm. me. Like I was like, hmm. I'm like, man, yeah, what the fuck you mean you gonna give me a break? No, <laughs> nigga, I'm coming to get your ass. <laughs> so, whatever. So yeah. What so I, you know, I got to ride with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, we joking around. We get to get to my house and we joking around or whatever. And I leave the car laughing like we just was joking around. I walk inside the house and he's on the couch waiting. I think. For me. Wait, but no, I, no, I don't think I was on the couch. I think you he, was on. As I soon think as I, I was upstairs. No, I think I was upstairs. No, 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 no. I, I think I was remember. upstairs. I'm I think I looked out the window. That's how I knew. Yeah, and you came downstairs. You must have came downstairs. Right. So, oh, so, oh, okay. Yeah, I just, yeah. This is how I know. Soon as I opened the door, because I was laughing, and then you know, in the moment of laughing, mm-hmm. and you like, <laughs> was so funny. I'm I like, think because I was looking out the window you, and I seen like, that red truck. I seen that big red truck. I seen a big ass red truck pull up. First of all, soon as I opened the door, he was on the couch. No. and I. Uh, Why so are you funny. getting out of this big ass so, red truck? Like I'm like, uh, so and so just made a joke and it's funny. Like, what's the big deal? Who that? Uh, that's so and so. Nah, and that truck. She was trying to tell me it was a girl. Basically, she was yeah. trying to tell me it was a girl. My and girlfriend. I'm, yeah, and, and I'm like, yo, hey, don't no girls drive no big Listen. ass. Red, like it wasn't so, a pickup. It was like that, one of them the, old wasn't jeeps. Wasn't even a kicker. What made matters like worse for him? She like reversed out of like the block instead of going forward. So he's like, only only dudes drive that way. Only dudes drive that way. And I'm like, well, yeah, yo, I, I like, think it was the combination. It was the combination so, of the big ass red. Uh, the red suburban truck, truck or whatever, and then she's whipping like, that shit like she, yeah, like it's like, like she, she whipping it like she was a nigga, like so. I'm so like we're we're going back and forth, back and forth, and eventually he had me call her to come <laughs> back around the corner yeah. to prove to him that it's a female that is my girlfriend. Dog, like if anybody else would have seen that big ass truck. If anybody ever seen that big listen, ass truck, you know who you are. If you're listening, if girlfriend, I'm sorry, boo. If you listening, girlfriend, I'm sorry. If you would have seen anybody would have seen the way she was whipping that joint, she was whipping that joint like she's. <laughs> she came back oh, she around. Like I know she something. was like, "What's going?" She came back around, put the window down, she like, did, "Hey, though. Eugene." She definitely did. She definitely did. <laughs> he he felt so bad. He gave her twenty dollars. Like she never going nowhere. I gave her twenty dollars for gas. Like. I that's can't, crazy, I can't. But that's, that's, I mean, that's, but hey, like, that's what I'm saying. I was, it was funny. Though. I was insecure, it was like, funny. it was, it's funny now. It's definitely funny now. It wasn't funny back then. I was really, I was, I was worried about you. I thought, I thought, I thought somebody didn't got you. 
Oh <laughs> gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah. Well, for me, for me, my one of my insecurities in our relationship was uh-huh. his uncertainty. I definitely you know? was uncertain. I definitely was um, done a lot of uncertain shit back. You then. know it. It wasn't so much like you know how you get insecure because of other females, like you know, like uh, attractive females that he may be interested in, or you know, anything like that. For me, it was the uncertainty. So it was like I was so focused or worried about, oh, is he gonna leave? Is he gonna leave? And and I was saying actually at that time, remember I was like, we would get into arguments, and you you know we would say shit like, I, I, you know. What I would say, like I don't, I don't want to be. Here. I don't think I said I don't want to be here no more. I think I would just yeah, just like you said, like in the last episode, it's like it's it's time like in the past there were times like I don't know if I want to be in this relationship right, right, and right, stuff right, like that. Right. Like you know, even though I was there as a friend, and eventually, you know what we used to do? We used to argue. You know what we used to do? We used to argue, and like I would say to I would say to you like. um You know, if you don't want to do this no more, like we would always put it on each other. Like I, mean, I would say, like if you don't want to do this no more, then go instead of like you know you saying whatever like that. But we would like uh, go back and you remember what we used to do that but, like we when we used to argue and it'd be like instead of us saying like unless instead of me saying like I don't want to be here no more you we like used well to put on each other like yeah like if you don't want to be here no more then go you ahead can, yeah you can go, go ahead you can go you can go but yeah what you were saying though my bad I, I cut you off yeah you did you did but <laughs> um like like I, like you said you know on the previous episode like you were saying like you didn't know if you want to be here like right right and like. You know, even though I was there for you as a friend, you know, eventually I became insecure. Like I'm like I don't know about him. Like I, he don't know about me. So that was one of my insecurities. Um, like, is he gonna get up and leave one day? And I'm all over here dangerously in love. And like, mm-hmm. like I yeah, I, I went through that for a little while. Um, yeah, but then you you eventually you grew out of that. You got out of that, right? No. Um, yeah. I mean, you ain't know it. <laughs> like I'm not, fo- I'm not worried about that. Like I'm not worried. I'm not. I don't focus on that. Like, but was you doing I the mean, same shit I was doing? Like the, the DMs and all that tech, like Instagram shit. Like I mean, you, uh, of course. You, I yeah. mean, like that's like, like for example, another you know insecurity. Um, <laughs> like when he used to reply or comment, like or whatever other females post, and like I used to be like, who this bitch? Let me check her page. Like, <laughs> and I used to feel a way, and I'm like, I used to feel a way like, well, is this what he's interested in? Is this what he likes? And I used to, you know, get down on myself, and I used to, you know, it, it became draining to a point where I placed so much pressure on myself to gain what I thought I lacked, where I eventually forgot who I was because I was so focused on trying to be like other people or other females that I thought that he may be interested in. Yeah, but you. You ain't, you ain't, you kind of grew out of that. You ain't like that no more, is Yeah, you? yeah, but, you know, <laughs> I still be like, who that bitch? And I still check her page. But, <laughs> you know, I I know as now, I know as much as he know what we have and what I offer that him being interested in somebody else, it, it don't come to mind. It does not, like, I don't think about it. Yeah, I mean, I ain't going front, like, Every now and then I'll see like a a little comment in the uh, post and it really don't, I don't really like go crazy in my mind worrying about other niggas because I know niggas comment and you know try to do a little slick slide shit and I see the shit but I don't, I don't really let that affect me too much so I mean it do something to me a little bit but I ain't, I don't be stressing over it like mm-hmm. I, I guess you was at some points but um. But besides, besides the insecurities and in relationships we also, you know, battle insecurities within ourselves. Right, definitely. Like, yeah, I remember um, when we first got together. Like, so prior to me and you, all my girlfriends prior to you was like shorter than me. So, <laughs> so when I met you, it was like you got like you got like a long inch. You got like a long inch over me. So. <laughs> So like that was a big insecurity, like like going out together or walking down the street together and shit like that. It's like it's like it's like a power dynamic. Like you got this little inch over me. It's like I just some, I felt like weak. Like and oh, you definitely definitely don't wear heels because then I'm really like some young boy just <laughs> that you walking down the street <laughs> that you walking down the street with. 
that shit was like big for me. Like I ain't never have a, like. Well, it was uncom- Well, it was uncomfortable for both of us in the beginning, only because like with me, I knew you felt weird and like just like you said you you know everyone was shorter than you. I, 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 I think I, I lied though I think I lied about that I just thought about that no what? everybody wasn't shorter than me to be honest but I think when I was younger I just didn't give a fuck I feel like now now that I'm older or that I was older at the time it's just like I just had so much more impact than them huh That's yeah just what it was. <laughs> <laughs> hey you want to call it that I guess so but uh yeah that that whole you know that whole height dynamic difference or whatever that shit really used to get to me. That's why when we get married, and I mean, <laughs> like, we got to make sure you even in some flats. Or you probably should just get married on the beach and we can bury your feet in the sand yeah, or some okay. shit. Get you, yeah, okay. Get, <laughs> yeah, okay. get you a couple inches lower than me, you Whatever. know what I mean? <laughs> but, um... Anywho. Well, with me, like, I feel like I'm still in a work in progress. Like... The insecurities I have within myself as a woman, mm-hmm. I'm still figuring that out. Mm-hmm. I'm still figuring that out. Um, I'm more, f- for me, I'm more focused on how to improve being more happy with me right, rather right, than right, what right, definitely. I think what you may like or what he may like or who he checking out. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm in the process of focusing on me. I'm more aware and conscious now that most of the time, that's what I'm doing. Like nowadays, I try my best to enhance what I already have and be grateful for the qualities that I do bring to the table. Like, and through that, I become a better version of myself. Right, 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 definitely. Like, you focus on like you said, you just like trying to spend more time, like just getting the, like it's like self work. That's kind of some of the shit that I used to do. Like self healing, self healing. Like I read a lot of books and shit, like to to get myself, but. So you said you just focusing on focusing on enhancing my abilities, and it's okay to learn new trades, but it also have to be okay to accept and enhance your qualities, your what you bring mm-hmm. to the table, mm-hmm. what you know your abilities are. It's, it's okay to you know bring more light to it and just carry carry yourself to another place. By just focusing on what you already have yeah, and building exactly, on it, exactly. yeah, and I and that's something I had to realize for myself at some point because, um, I mean, a lot of times you look for people to kind of like uh, be that backbone or like to push you in. You have been that for me, but sometimes you gotta like you gotta be reminded of the shit that you was like good at, and then you gotta like go back to it and like say, yo, I was I was good at this, I was uh, good at that, and then just, just keep remind working yourself on it. Just, like, yeah, I'm a bad. M- yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, right. Definitely. Sometimes you need. Sometimes you need to remind yourself. And you got to do the work. You definitely got to do the work. I think is is we got to just stay conscious. We got to stay conscious of like who we are and like just spend like a, like, like I talked about last podcast intentional time. That's like a big thing for I think us in our relationship. Mm-hmm. It's like intentional time with each other. Intentional time with helping ourselves and helping ourselves grow and. um just spending like like quality time on working within ourselves within ourselves like in our relationship but within ourselves like personally like there's listen there's nobody like you like i'm on a journey i'm on a journey to embracing it so Mm -hmm. insecurities won't have a space in my world right definitely i'm on the same journey but um i think i think we should leave it there i think this was a good one i think we covered some stuff and, yeah, um, I think we could talk about a lot more, but that's you know. You could definitely wrap up. it up. <laughs> so um, you know, like we said last time, if um, you know, we like we're not trying to give advice. You know, we just telling our stories, telling about the stuff that we've been through, and um, you take from it what you want to take yeah, from it. Yeah, speaking our truth. Definitely, definitely speaking our truth. But uh, I guess we're gonna see y'all next week on episode three. But until then, you know, holla. See ya. Talk to you later. That's a little better than last week. Talking to you later. You you ain't say say nothing last week. (laughs) All right, y'all.